Uh, so, so just for one last final check, what we'll do is we have this create post. Okay, this is the place where we are creating our blog, and this is our create get. Okay, so index create and then the details post and then the blog date all right so we don't actually need our blog over here uh yeah we will have to pass in something we can just say block dot dot 10 it works just fine hello so just to check if our handle errors is working properly uh, what i'm going to do is start up postman okay so it is recording all right we can sit with our post mm, definitely not the api that we are looking for Yep, we do have this API, but fine. Uh, let's just go back to post, post blocks, and over here we have title, we have email. No, not email, we have a snippet, and then we have our body. Okay. So these are the three things that we need for our blog. So I'll say um, let's just hit this endpoint and yeah, it does not work. Well, the reason being we have not started our server. So I'll just say npm. No, not npm. I'll say yarn start. All right. So hopefully it works and now I can send my okay. So I did get this and yeah, we need to take check for errors, right? So I will just say send okay. yeah we need to hit the endpoint at this point yep so it is cannot post blocks create okay and in our blog route yeah why don't we get this hmm Okay. Um, chalo, so I have the body over here. It is a JSON file only, and there is a post method as well for the very same thing. And yeah, we are supposed to. Uh, Okay, chalo. Uh, we are not getting errors. I guess uh, we need to put this guy in a function. 
I just tried this. And hopefully this time we get some error. Yep. It should be inside a function or it gets called directly. Now, this is a behavior of JavaScript. Um, you will find it especially when you are writing code for the front end. It will be running indefinitely, especially when you are working with React. I will demonstrate it to you. If you can, just remind me of this very same thing. OK. So uh, our errors part is working. OK. And uh, yeah, with this, we can just go to our edge. All right. And let's go to localhost. 4000. Uh, you guys can see my screen, right? So over here, we have this. And yeah, this came from the back end. And clicking over here, it should delete it. And while if you come to this block, this. Yeah, it works from the front end as well. But we want to handle our errors. You don't want to have this block title, block snippet. And you see, as for now, if we go to create.ejs, we have given the required over here. But somebody might want to hit your endpoint from the this part. He realizes that, OK, this is a place where we can hit the endpoint from, and then he tries to manipulate this and try to attack it with a continuous uh, fake stuff. OK, now that is another part of security that you will have to take into consideration. But right now, uh, we have body, we have snippet, and then we have title. OK, with this, uh, you see, we are now handling the body request over here. So it is not a cause of concern. But in the front end, if I like, let's just go to the inspect tab in our elements part now, we can always go to here. And uh, let's just remove the required from here. And you see, I can send it. I can just send anything I want. And if I try and submit it, OK, I am supposed to keep it empty. I'm sorry. Uh, it should not redirect us or anything. Instead, it will give us that error page. But you don't want that to happen. So if I submit, uh, hopefully this time, yeah. Let's just submit it directly. Yep, we do get our error object, but you don't want it to be here. That is one more request for the Either. You see, it, you can just handle it either in the front end, OK? Uh, just like we did for our delete button. But you can also handle it in the back end. That is why we created the other object that we are working with, this object right here. OK, so what we can do is we can use JavaScript and at the very end, just before the end of the body, I can just create a new script tag. OK. And then over here, we will handle all the errors. Chalo. So OK, so what we are going to do is uh, we have opened up script. So we'll just first select the form. OK, and the first thing will be removing this part. All right, we don't want to submit the form from here. So we can now remove this. Instead, what we can say is class equals to something or ID equals to something. But right now, since we have only one form on the page, what we'll do is we won't give it anything, any name or class. We'll just select the form right here. OK. 
and we'll say const form uh, yeah const form equals to document dot query selector and over here we will select a form for us and along with that you see uh, I have this we have body error I don't know for some reason I have a user error as well okay we have snippet error and then we have title error as well and they are supposed to have something but they are empty as for now but what we'll do is if we get any error we will just insert it over here only So, uh, just like our form also now, what we'll do is we'll pick this, uh, pick them using, how will we pick them? We'll pick them using either class. Okay, so title, either, snippet, and either. So, what I will do is, uh, just hit uh, nope, not like this. And we will say dot error. Uh, one will have the title error, one will have the snippet error, and then the third guy will have the body error okay now user error i don't think that should occur from the front end but the very reason that i kept it is that just to demonstrate that if you don't have a user and if you try and handle the user error now we will be able to see this further fine uh, now yeah we also aim to the need to rename this guy so we'll say Title error. Uh, we'll say snippet error. Uh, say for this body error, and then we'll say user error. Chalo. All right. So we have selected everything. So well form actually gives us all the control for these guys but well i would like to have the control from form just for the input areas okay and i would like to have separate control for these guys that is why i took them in over here so now i will add an event listener. i will say form dot add event listener and then we will say submit so whenever the form is submitted we will fire an event okay so E stands for event, okay, and it contains all the uh, event handles and all that happen inside the form. Okay, so first of all, you want the form to prevent the default is behave default behavior. So default behavior of our form when we were submitting, it was taking this data, creating a post request, a request, and then from that action in here, now it was passing the data to the backend you and it was also refreshing the this so at this point uh, let's just do this and we try and refresh it and you see we have a script over here if I submit it now okay so it says that they, it requires something okay and when you click on submit it refreshes and currently it doesn't do anything and our form clears as well but uh, the reason it is refreshing now is because we have not specified what it should do. But yeah, Chalo. so uh, we have title, mesh snippet, and then body over here. Uh, so if I now add in this guy and say e dot prevent default, okay, and try and refresh it, you see when I submit it, uh, to submit anything that is over here, and if I submit it, nothing happens. Nothing happens over here if i 
go to fresh this guy and try and submit it nothing happens this is why because we have sent e dot prevent default now if i console log e now there are so many things that you can see so right now if i submit it uh yeah we need to so we have submit event okay so now this bubbles and all this is for the bubbling of an event so passing down stuff and all cancelable path is there all right so prevent default you see we said default prevented was true over here so that is what it does well we'll be using e dot target now for our works and you see you don't want to go inside children and all so instead of working with all that uh, i took all the errors for ourselves to work with Chalo. now let's just go ahead and fetch the data from back end okay so we'll say um we'll create our try block all right and we'll say const response equals to await okay now we are going to our dash method await method instead of using the then method tell us because we want to interact with the data upon different conditions so we'll say go and fetch blocks for me and then we'll pass in data over here so we'll say uh, method yeah uh -huh. we need to close this guy that is why it was giving yeah then this guy as well so now method it will be post okay and then uh, we also need to pass in the body because we are not good doing that automatically for the this guy well we need to stringify it else it won't work so i will just say json dot stringify okay because as for now if we send all of them inside an object they won't be sent back as a json so let me just demonstrate that for you and i will do is um, what i will do i will create an object say title okay and then snap it and then uh, not others we have body Chala. uh we need to get this guy as well from the form so what i will do is the e dot prevent defined now we will say uh const title equals to form dot title dot value now thus this title refers to the input name title okay and similarly uh, we have snippet as well and body as well Chalo. so once we have the three we can say try and we will add them inside their own catch block Chalo. so we will just console log error over here and hopefully cross our fingers and it sends the body to this guy yeah uh we can over here let's just try and console log request dot body so that i can show you how the body comes okay it will be empty now but we can now try and refresh this guy and submit it okay we refreshed it okay our await is only yeah we need to create this to be a synchronous function so in my create i will say async all right hello so uh, we can have this we can have this and submit it yep uh, you see it did nothing it just cleared the form and if we come over here it is going to this guy okay uh
yeah now it does not do anything and instead it says you were here and we get an empty body this is because uh, we are in our front end you see we are using uh, express dot json and our body is being interpreted as a json and it can't really read a string okay so to convert it into json right or is it the opposite way um yeah uh, we need to convert into json right so i will just put this guy inside one wall so i will say json now json comes with our javascript only and then json dot stringify okay now it should work um yeah apart from this we can uh, not needed we will still we will say headers content type and then here we will say content type we will say application slash json and yeah uh, now we have our response okay and we can say const data equals to response dot json now just like this we also need to await for this very same so we will say await response dot json but now for now let's just uh, console log our data and what does this do is uh i will demonstrate it for you what we get as our await okay so for now i will just say await for response all right chalo so uh refresh this and we can submit it and you see we get json um uh, in 85 now so let me just go over here and yeah uh we need to await for this very guy as well so let's try and refresh it okay it still says native code but over here if you see what we are getting is our this so instead of in 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 uh, this we are getting our headers prototype body is there and body is a readable stream and all that sort of stuff and the json method it is coming from here okay so this is where the json method comes from and yeah for now we are sitting ducks okay chalo so after this we also need to do uh yeah i'm doing this mistake so we can now console log our data so i will say uh await data chalo so if i try and refresh this again i don't really like this being changed again and again and on submitting this yep we get our errors and then it says that that title is already taken so let's just add in something and try and submit it now it says unexpected token uh, this now this is because no error is coming back and we need to handle it out in a different way okay uh, for now if you see uh, we were directly redirecting from the back end but this won't work anymore okay uh, we need to handle it in our front end only this is because that uh, we are sending in a request that is manipulating the data as just a json you are not sending in an entire request by the form element okay so previously we were sending in a proper request now this time we are sending in a request which is needed to be in which is being interpreted from the front end all right chalo so let's just handle our errors first of all so i will say if 
data dot others all right so over here we had our others so data dot others we will handle this over here so i will say if data dot others we will say title underscore error dot text content equals to data dot errors dot title okay and similarly what we'll do is we'll say snippet error and uh, we can say body error also Chalo. so now on submit yeah we need to do this yeah we are not getting any error so what i will do is um, yeah let's remove the required part of the title and send in this so are you still getting errors no but we are not getting any title either so fine so um, Okay, so nothing is happening as for now. Okay, Chalo, so let's just pick a title which is already present. Okay, so in here we can just say something and try and submit it. Yep, it says that that title is already taken. Okay, but you see, uh, even if I update it now, everything is going properly and we should get this error because. Uh, everything is fine you see we are getting this error but that this error still stands here it says that that title is already taken you don't want that to happen you want it to reset so before everything what we'll say is uh, we'll just copy this part of this over here and we will say data dot errors dot title instead of saying that uh yeah we will just say an empty text for the very same okay and let's add a comment be a good person and let the others know what is happening reset the errors and if i add in two question marks over here nope i guess my better comments yeah okay so it is there and it is supposed to work okay so yeah it is not working so let's just leave it like that only and yep. so now whenever we try and reset our this now it should uh, yep okay and whenever you submit it okay so it still says that title is already taken and try and submit it again okay Chalo. so that is one part of the errors being handled now we also need to handle these types of errors and it will be done for you by default but i cannot demonstrate it for you for some reason if i am re removing this it should send in this right and yeah the blog snippet or uh, this is not working try and submit it again yeah oh this should be empty okay and it is not even console logging the errors okay Chalo. so something is going on over here and what we can do is we can console log and try this now let's just submit it and okay we are coming in here so are we going in here as well 
तो लेट्स जस्ट या चलो लेट्स जस्ट सबमिट इट एंड या वी आर आल्सो रिटर्निंग एरर्स and uh, nope it doesn't work response mm. okay so instead of saying return errors now we will have to uh send it manually okay uh we will say others equals to okay chalo so hopefully now yeah now it works properly snippet is required okay i could have done that uh, from here only saying that response and request object but that would just make this logic way too complicated for us to handle it in the future okay chalo so we are saying response dot send over here and we are sending in the error as well so snippet is required all right and if i enter the proper snippet we are removing that and we are also adding in a block so if i come over here and we have a lots of trash now okay and we'll clean that up later on but for now we have handled the errors chalo what if we don't have any error we want to handle that as well right so uh we will say in our blog routes uh, sorry in our blog controller we will say instead of saying response dot redirect we will say response dot send okay and then over here we will just send in the blog okay then we will say for this over here as well response dot send blog okay and uh, let's just take the blog in our front end okay in our create dot ejs i will say if data dot blog we will say location dot assign all right and what this will do is it will take you to the home page uh you can keep it to the blogs instead of having it to the direct on its own chalo so we can refresh it and this is a proper one and this is a good snippet and then this is something okay now it should submit it properly and take you to the home page okay so it says that title is already taken and it did not even consider taking us to the home page we don't need our postman we can close him and instead of having two of this uh let's just yeah we will keep this yeah over here chalo so that removes this cluster for me okay so now we are not being redirected to our this so what i will do is and so log data for ourselves and let's just refresh it and submit it yeah uh, we are getting an entire blog like this so you don't want that so we will instead of sending in an entire blog now what we will do is we will send it as an object from the back end only chalo so at this point we should get the error that title is already taken so let's just add a one over here and submit it yep it does submit take us to the front end and we have our just freshly created blog for ourselves chalo so that's one part of everything handled we also want to handle our user login from the 
front end okay we want to handle this we want to handle sign up as well so for now we see that we it says cannot get sign up this is the reason that this the reason is that we have not created the route so what we'll do is uh, we'll be quick quick about this okay and in our other handler we will have to handle a few more errors now because we are not handling this errors the errors that are coming from controller okay so right now if i go to the user uh, not this part um in our model right yeah inside over here but for now let's just stop this uh yeah for saving a user we don't have the errors being handled from here instead we are giving getting the errors from here right and we are handling it inside our error handler right so what we'll do is we'll keep our user controller let's just close rest of the routes we'll keep this guy we'll keep this guy and let's open our sign up dot ejs so i have all my server side work over here and this guy over here well uh you see we have many things same over here for confirm password we have an uh error for password for confirm password for email as well so i will be a cheat and i will be sitting go over here i will just copy it down and over here what we'll do is we'll paste it okay now i do understand that this is a very dirty method and let's just remove this i won't be able to show you guys a lots of stuff i understand that but for now let's just edit over here so we'll say title underscore error so we will say email error okay we'll say email not ramel we will say email and then instead of snippet we will say password error and uh, in body we will say confirm password error Hello. so we will say confirm password dot uh, we have uh, i did a mistake Hello. so yeah we will say c underscore password okay and let's remove this we don't need it anymore instead what i will do is i will just get this guys and you see we want to reset all of them right so we will say something like this and yeah we will say email okay and then we will say okay chalo so let's just see yeah email and then this guy so uh control c it from here and control v it over here i know i could have typed it out uh, but pasting is far more easier chalo so we have the same try method instead of saying slash blogs now we will say slash uh, in our user route post sign up first we need to create a get route for the sign up okay and we will say get hello and in our user controller instead of saying post we will say get and yeah apart from this we also need to create a route for this and we will say this dot render sign up hopefully that's the name of the yeah sign up and then we'll pass in our title it should be and object we will say uh, sign up page okay uh, there are we'll say get over here hopefully this works 
and we do get access to this page to work with it fine chalo so we'll say content type body json we don't want our email over here instead we will say email and password only now the reason that i am taking in confirm password over here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just make sure that the confirmed password is uh, very much the same as password so i will say confirm password i will say uh, c underscore password as a dot text content equals to passwords don't match uh not like this yeah this should work and hopefully everything else works as well so instead of saying title either now we can say email password and then we don't have the confirm password either okay and for this we will say email and we will say password hello and if we have data dot user we will take him to the home page okay and if we have a catch error part over here so we'll say console dot log error uh because we are handling error like this over here only fine so uh let's just cross our fingers and remove this from here and we are supposed to say sign up all right so i pray and yeah we do get our email part password part and then confirm password as well so let's just create our first user maybe so we'll say test 1 2 3 for now and then test 1 2 3 is the password and let's just try and submit it okay let's enter the password randomly okay so it says password don't match so front end works okay and it still created a user for us so uh we will just return from here only right uh i don't think this should work yeah we can uh let's say return like this okay uh hopefully Let's try and refresh it, and enter some random password. Okay, so now we did not. It says passwords don't match. Okay, so it worked, and we can try and put in some proper password over here, and yeah, it did send us and a user. All right, chalo. So we can try, and what we can do is. Okay, so the type password does not have a required field. So I will just go back over here and submit it. It says passwords don't match. Uh, let's just remove the required from here, and we will say now submit. Well, uh, we are our getting our error, and it says password is required. Okay. So the issue is that you see. our error handler it is returning errors it is not returning just an object so uh instead of saying is dot send 
handle others can we say it like this so it passes in something as an object hello so now yeah it does not do it like that well let's see if we can send others as an object in the back end and yeah now we are getting errors properly over here and then it says password is required all right so stuff is working and let's do this yep email is required as well so if i enter in some logic randomly and three and the password will be test at the rate one two three hello so we are getting our user as well so there's just one thing that you need to handle over here so yeah you see we are getting our user we are getting our entire user um yeah over here so we will send it as an object and if i try and submit it okay so it says already is taken so not the email that user is already okay and try and submit it okay so it did take us to the this page and we have our user over here as well and yeah that is it uh, that is how you will be handling it from the front end okay now i can go ahead and do the sign up uh, login part as well you see but uh, we are actually creating our user completely over here and we are also not okay it is not uh, storing any cookie as for now the reason being our create post does not send in a jwt okay so uh well uh, we will do that tomorrow the reason being that you see over here in our this we have some types of errors that are being handled like this we are showing errors instead of uh using some things like this so our error handler by default is not able to catch them uh what we need to do over here is we need to uh add in a few more validation stuff so uh you see we have error dot message we will be getting a different error let me just demonstrate it for you from the back end for now we will go ahead inside our postman only and we can go to our user route and we have post of login so i will say local host uh 4000 was here Okay, we are getting an empty errors okay but you see we have an error and the message for it is it says invalid user okay so uh if i come over here now and i say if error dot message equals to uh invalid user so i will say uh yeah chalo so if we have an error dot message it will log it out for us and yeah you see we have our error dot message over here so it says invalid user so uh i will be handling it in a bit different way now in our user model 
we are uh, doing like this incorrect details and invalid users instead we should say incorrect details okay chalo so now in our user controller only uh yeah we can handle it this way only no need to complicate stuff so uh so uh, you need to handle it so we'll say invalid details and we can say others dot uh i would like to handle it at the password side only and we will say equals to invalid details all right and now if i send in uh we can send it as so address is now coming back as an empty object still mm hopefully uh and the and then it says it is coming back as an empty thing okay let's put it like this and send it nope uh Yeah, let's not uh, the show us stuff. What we'll do is we will handle it peacefully tomorrow only. Okay. Hello. So we, if you guys have any doubts, please ask me, and we will handle login because uh, there are three things that will go from there. We will handle error like this from here, and uh, we will also be setting the JWT, and with that we will also, I guess, do. something like uh, uh, i have no idea what we'll do so let's just stop over here and we can end our meet over here only so if you guys have any doubts please ask me no doubts Okay, so I guess we can drop this call then. Lakhan, listen to that. Ati calls the rest.